in cliff. What? I'm in shock. I'm absolutely in shock with the judge's decision. I tried Cliff's food and I tried Sam's food. I spit out Cliff's food. We walked into the Kenmore kitchen and all we saw was a bunch of canned goods. Hello, chefs. Welcome to the Kenmore kitchen. There are 10 of you left to compete for the title of top chef. Tom Colicchio will be judging today's quick fire challenge. It was a big surprise to see Chef Tom as our judge. So far as my track record, I've done better with guest judges than with our own Chef Tom. With the holiday season upon us, we typically do a can drive in our restaurants. We ask our guests to bring in canned goods that we distribute to community food banks. Not everyone has access to fresh foods, but that doesn't mean that they can't eat well. So here's my quick fire challenge to you. Take an unexciting ingredient and turn it into something fabulous. You'll have to use at least three cans for your final dish, and you'll have 15 minutes to prepare that dish. Trying to make tasty food with canned goods is asking a lot, and I'm thinking that it's going to be an extremely difficult challenge. You know, when my family was homeless, the food bank really helped us a lot, so, you know, I'm not scared to cook out of a can. Remember, if you win this challenge, you'll be immune from elimination in the next. You have 15 minutes, and your time starts now. <laughs> Fifteen minutes, when you don't even know what the cans are, within like a minute, you have to decide what you're gonna make. I was I was scrambling. Everybody was scrambling. It was, it was a man dash. Fifteen minutes. surprised when I look over my shoulder and see that there are people that are brave enough to try to attempt hot food in 15 minutes. I'm thinking immediately salad. Holy moly! To try to assimilate some dish and twist it enough so it doesn't taste like it came from a can, that's gonna be the challenge. Can I just, I'll take three minutes. I just made a mess. It's okay. One minute 38. What do I need? What do I need? Okay, utensils down. Hands up. Hands up. Right now. Okay. They're up. Good. Hey, Cliff. We have a new potato salad. Straw mushroom, baby corn, mandarin orange vinaigrette with grilled anchovy. They are, they're not fresh anchovy, which would have been a lot better. It's a can challenge. It's a can, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> Hello, Betty. I have made for you lemon hummus, beets, and artichoke hearts in a sage vinaigrette. Sam. So this is a crunchy anchovy over a garbanzo and beet salad flavored with little Dijon and lemon vinaigrette. I've created a nice little canned dish for you guys. Um, we have some hearts and palm with clams and a little coconut milk foam, uh, creme fraiche with trout and chervil, and then lastly, some water chestnuts with citrus. Why the coconut? I think that the coconut milk goes nice with the, uh, with the hearts and palms and the clams. Think so? Well, I made the 15-minute salad. I got garbanzo beans, green beans, kidney beans, and some artichoke hearts. Why did you put the mint in there? Just to give it a little bit of a twist. Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. It's really nice. It makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Thanks. Thank you. I sauteed a canned spinach with cannellini beans and a little red chili flakes. The new potatoes, I roasted them, and the Vienna sausages, I roasted as well. Somehow you managed for it to lose its canniness. Okay, thank you. I don't have Thanksgiving in Mexico, but we have Christmas, and we always make a salad fruit. And then this is hash with shallots, fresh parsley, and I put some kidney beans. Why the two things together? Really? We always eat the, the salad with meat. Hello there. Okay, Hi, Carlos. Carlos. Pasta putanesca. I used the uh, double ham instead of anchovies at the base. Then we did the tomatoes, the capers, the peas. What I've done here is I've done a blueberry yogurt cream on the top. In the middle, I have a peach coconut Italian cream. Hey, how's it going? Good. It's made of mashed potatoes, you butter, olive oil, on cream, some chili, the bacon wrapped corn. I think if anybody really put themselves out there today, it was Mike. Never in a million years, when 15 minutes, would I have tried, tried to make mashed potatoes. Tom, what did you think? 
No, overall, I thought, I thought you guys really embraced the challenge. I thought some pretty interesting things. Cliff didn't taste like canned food. It was really clean, fresh. Sam, love the idea that you thought about frying anchovies. Marcel, I, I find when you work with clams, and if you work with coconut, they have to be ice cold, or they, they taste off. Elia, the hash was on its own was wonderful. I thought the fruit was wonderful. I'm still not sold on putting the two together. Elan, I'd like you to come stand over here. Mia, why don't you come up to the front here? Sam, you can come up as well. Right, Cliff, you can just change places with Michael. And Frankie, you can stay where you are. Okay, so who's your winner? The winner of the canned good challenge is Sam. Chef Colicchio announced that uh, Sam was the winner, and I'm thinking, damn it, there I go again. I'm that close to winning a doggone quick fire challenge, and it slips through my fingers. Mia, you have also won. <laughs> and Cliff. Huh? I'm in shock. I'm absolutely in shock with the judge's decision. I tried Cliff's food, and I tried Sam's food. I spit out Cliff's food. And a lot. <laughs> Frank, you are a winner as well. All five of you actually won the challenge. I feel great about this. This is first, my first time winning immunity, number one.